Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be showing you my updated foundation routine. So if you want to see how I did it, please do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply a lotion to my face. I'm using this lotion called Rare Diamonds, and it's just in a little bottle thing. Um, I got this from Ava, and it's just a regular scented lotion. You can use whatever kind of lotion that you desire. I'm just going to put this on my face. Okay, and you're going to want to make sure that your face is clean before you do this. Clean and completely dry. So, after that, I'm going to go ahead and apply the same kind of stuff, but it's uh, more like a baby powder, but it's not as loose as a baby powder, it's a little thicker. And it's from the same stuff, it's Rare Diamonds, and I got that from Avon once again. I'm going to be just adding a little bit of that to my hand and then patting that on my face. And you can probably use baby powder. I've never used it, but you could probably use it. I don't see the problem with it at all. Okay. Next, fly away hairs. Next, we're going to be adding just a regular face powder. And I'm using um, Touch by Laura. True Match by L'Oreal. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, and the color I'm using, I believe, is beige. Um, go ahead and just grab the thing and pat that on. And just do that all over your face and don't rub it in like that pat it because then you're just kind of sweeping it across your face and then it's not actually getting into your face okay next we're going to go ahead and apply the foundation i'm going to be using um it's clean finish by ramil london and this color is soft honey number four 30 and I'm going to be using this brush this um, foundation brush I got from Avon it's kind of just pointed at the end and I've used it a lot so yeah it's a really good one um, my this one has a little thing so all I'm going to be using is one side of this and I'm just going to pat that to where it's on there just a little and go ahead and wipe that under my eye and then work it up in to my um, head for forehead. Four. And this color is l slightly darker than the uh, than my actual facial color, but yeah, that's just because my whole body is kind of darker than my face. So. And now I know it doesn't look like it's completely, um, worked in. Can't think of another word for it. But, uh, after you finish with this, you're going to go ahead and, um, go around it with your fingers. Okay, now that it's just kind of all over your face, you're going to go ahead and work it with your fingers and you just kind of go around the whole part all over make sure none of it is kind of hard. And make sure you go really good on this top part up here and around here. Kind of just pull it down. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to be using a bronzer, because I do this every time. I don't know why, but I do. Um, it's number 7, and it's a sun-kissed... Something I'm not even going to try and say it. But... 
you can't even read it anyway. So, yeah. I'm gonna just get a fluffy brush, and these are like little mineral balls, and I've talked about these before in my previous videos. Um, so these are little mineral balls. Just go ahead and shake those up, and using a big fluffy brush, just kind of pat that in there and get a little bit there. Um, what I do with my bronzer is I do that, <laughs> and then I put it just right there where I come in, and then I swoop it all the way up. So, sorry if I make a funny face. blush and I'm just gonna <clears throat> be using this gotta be urban mineral bronzing powder and I'm gonna be using a little mookie brush and just do that on the apples of my cheeks and kind of just bring whatever is left up Okay, and once that's all done, you're gonna come back to the Lori. I'm gonna come back to the L'Oreal Match beige, and I'm just gonna apply a small amount of that to my nose and under my eyes. Once again, I'm patting, not rubbing. Okay. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this and um, yeah, I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.